Hi, I'm Connor Lamp, and this is The Date With Destiny. So this is a show where we, cap, where we bring girls off of the street named Destiny. This is Destiny. On this show, we have revived three historical figures that Destiny has to choose from. Alexander the Great, Psy, and God dang it, where is Abe? Just then, Abraham Lincoln went to the theater. He said, I quote, I just want to finish Hamlet once. Wait, why is Sai here? No tips on YouTube, baby! Well, anyway, let's continue. Well, now, Destiny, which one of these fine gentlemen would you date? I guess I choose Alexander. Oh, I see how it is! Well, Destiny has chosen Alexander. Sweet, another wife. This is the second part of our show where Destiny interviews Alexander. Destiny, here are your cards. There are only four cards and they're all blank. Hey, we can only do so much. What are these magical devices? I want to run with them. So, since these cards are blank, I guess I should start. Why are you so modernly dressed? They said they were playing dress up. Okay, so second question. Can I call you Alex? No. So, what lengths would you go to to become king? Well, let's just say there's a lot of dead people in my family. Well, I heard you had a horse. Did you kill that too? Bruxelles? No, I love Brucey. He was my father's horse. He bought him, but he was going to get rid of him because he was violent and hard to train. So instead, he gave him to me, because I'm violent and hard to train. Well, I guess, tell me about your childhood? Well, my fantastic mother father had me taught by Aristotle so I wouldn't become such an arrogant piece of shit like he was. Aristotle was a pretty good guy. I mean, he read me my favorite book when I was younger, The Odyssey. And he raised me and my friends basically like a good father would. Actually, through Aristotle's help, I became a great general. We disagreed on some things like on whether or not I should take as many prisoners as I did. I actually don't really like taking prisoners. They cost too much to feed, and it's just easy to run them through with a sword. And eventually my father had me fired for reasons I am not sure of. So, we actually just became more friends. It was a very beneficial relationship to both of us, I'm sure. Well, that was a nice story. So what do you think, wife number four? Uh, I still have another question. Uh, um, what makes you great? Well, I was the most intelligent and alive out of all of my siblings and step-siblings. I was a great military commander and my swordsmanship was unparalleled throughout all the land. Well, that's all the time we have here, folks. Now, Destiny, would you date Brett? I mean, Alexander? No. Well, number four. Oh, we have one more question. Who would you compare yourself to? Well, if I had to pick, probably God. Or Brad Pitt. Join us next week for a date with Sarah, because we couldn't find any other girl named Destiny. <laughs> Local skeptics shot Abraham Lincoln at Ford Theater today. Their excuse was, he's not the real president. Go. Well, my fantastic mother-hugging father had me taught by Aristotle so I wouldn't become such an arrogant piece of shoot like he was.